Hi, my name is Sean Walker, and I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow, and I'm also part of the Ranger team. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the SAM Maturity Assessments. This video is part three of a five-part video series on the Success Portal, so make sure you watch the other videos so you can really see how to leverage the Success Portal and how all the features work together to mature your SAM program. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about SAM maturity. We're gonna talk about the different SAM maturity phases, the crawl, walk, run phase, and then we're gonna get into a demo of the maturity assessment. So SAM maturity is really important because a lot of our customers install SAM and they don't really know how to move their SAM program forward, or maybe they don't even have a SAM program and they don't know where to start. So the, the maturity assessment provides that all-in-one um, adoption accelerator for them to be use and begin that journey into SAM. It provides a predefined roadmap for the customers on how to implement and what they should be thinking about within that SAM product. And then those maturity items really do act as like that checklist for trying to achieve those success goals. The first phase of the maturity assessment is the crawl phase. So this is where you begin your SAM journey um, and you do things like implementing or developing your program. So you can, this is where you want to look at uh, establishing that healthy CMDB. You know, you really want to find those tools that are out there in your environment that have that data that you need, like your end user compute tools, maybe usage tools, maybe what kind of SaaS portals we could think about integrating, et cetera. So really identify where that data is. You also definitely want to start thinking about uh, establishing those processes and defining the roles, right? So who's going to do what? Who is responsible for what? Uh, what do we have any existing processes for SAM that are in the organization today? And then you want to think about doing things in the crawl phase like that aren't as complex. So you can definitely want to start driving some value. So maybe you should focus on that end user computing software or maybe SaaS integrations while you're getting all the rest of that discovery tools set up because a lot of times those licensing aren't as complex. Um, so again, this phase is really about getting your instance ready to start using SAM or features within SAM. So if you're a more mature customer, then a lot of these items may have already been completed in your instance, but it's definitely still worth going through and reviewing each one of these items and maybe you'll identify some potential gaps the next phase is the walk phase. And this is where you really start to establish those processes, procedures, policies. You get those resources identified, you get those tools identified, and you're starting to execute on the roadmap of your SAM program. So this is where you can look at, you know, automating some of those manual processes that you've been doing before with the, those ones that you identified in the crawl phase. Um, Maybe you've already gone through and gotten your end user compute and your SaaS uh, licensing in place. And so now you can start thinking about the more complex things like data center environments or maybe your cloud environments and the bring your own license use cases. Um, and maybe you have even more SaaS publishers that have surfaced that you want to continue that automation and, and really look at getting those implemented. Um, you can start thinking about additional, you know, governance, maybe some cost controls through software metering, reclamation. Um, you can identify uh, overlapping software on your SaaS integrations, and you can start really thinking about right sizing that software state by looking at those compliance results. And the last phase is your run phase. So this is where you're really mature. Um, you have standardized and automated the processes. Uh, maybe you um, maybe you want to start doing some more centralized asset tracking and system management. So you can you know use think about using standard catalog items, um, integrating the onboarding process for new catalog items. Have those all standardized 
maybe get that integration with your procurement system working finally so you don't have to swivel chair anymore. Um, you know, maybe you want to provide end users some sort of automated way to deploy the software and, and really kind of right size your software spend. Um, and this is where you really want to be evaluating those processes on a regular basis and really seeing how they line up with your goals. <clears throat> so one important thing I wanted to point out, though, is that you don't have to complete each one of the items in the preceding phase to be able to move on to the next phase. So a lot of customers will start off smaller. So if we think about our, our very first crawl phase where we had the SaaS integration, so we identified our SaaS integration in the crawl phase. And then in the walk phase, we created those integrations, right? So we can go ahead and, and do those, those two phases, the crawl and walk phases, independently of every other item that's out there. You don't have to have all of the crawl done before you even think about doing a, a, a walk phase or even a run phase. So a lot of our customers will kind of mature those very specific processes that really do meet their organizational goals. So you can get all the way from um, identifying SaaS to creating those integrations to optimizing your spend. And then you can start getting in the run phase where you start looking at, hey, do we have SaaS applications that have overlapping uh, features and functionality? And we can start thinking about renegotiating our contracts to only using one particular soft and SaaS vendor instead of two, three, four SaaS tools that all do the same thing. So now I'm gonna jump into an instance. I'm gonna walk you through the SAM maturity assessment. All right, so now I'm back in my Washington instance of ServiceNow with Sam installed, and I've gone to the success portal in Software Asset Workspace. Uh, I'm gonna come back over to the overview tab, and this is where I find the Sam maturity. So you can see here, and this is a Washington DC release. So if you don't see this in your instance, you might not be in Washington. Um, so to go into the SAM maturity, I can actually click here and go to view all the different maturity items. So all of these maturity items are shipped as part of our content. So if any new um, items get added, they will get added uh, as part of our content library. Um, you can't actually add any custom maturity items. These are all predefined maturity items. So if I take a look at the crawl phase and I take a look at some of the different items in here, um, there may be some that are applicable or these are at least some things that I can think about if I'm a brand new SAM customer, I might wanna talk about our procurement process. How do we do procurement today for software? You know, do we have that swivel chair process because we want to create a PO in ServiceNow so we can receive and allocate those um, entitlements, but we also probably have our own procurement system where we need to generate that PO and actually do the order from. So we may have to swivel chair, but now's the time we want to think about that procurement process and we want to actually go through and see how we're going to look at integrating that within ServiceNow SAM. Um, this is where you can start, you know, things like thinking about your success goals. What do you want to achieve this year? And it can be very simple as, you know, getting that procurement process defined. And here's something if you've watched the other two videos where we talked about one of our success goals that we set up was visibility into our end user compute environment. And how we wanted to install the service graph connectors um, for Jamf and SCCM and get that data imported. So this is actually something I can go into here and I can see, oh, hey, this is something we've already got a goal in place for. So just let me, let me associate this particular um, maturity item with a goal we already have in place. And we can actually say, hey, this is already started. So we can actually start this one and start moving ourselves down are up, I should say, on the maturity. So, hey, we're not at zero. We're actually, you know, we're actually a little bit further along here because we've actually started um, some of these different tasks. So for, for existing customers who have had SAM for a while and just have this maturity 
uh, item or maturity assessment, you can start going through, hey, have I already done this in our environment? Uh, have I not done this in our environment? Um, and I can go ahead and take a look and complete these to really show where we are. Um, the next phase again is that walk phase. So you can do things like, hey, we wanna make sure that ITAM health check uh, is running. We do wanna start looking at maybe doing some of our data center um, discovery, right? We wanna discover those particular data center things. So we get all of our server software and all of our, our uh, database information, all that kind of stuff being discovered. We really wanna start that activity and then we want to make sure we normalize a lot of that SAM data coming in. Um, and then finally, you've got the run phase where you basically start really mature. You're a more mature level and you, you actually want to start thinking about, hey, let's do that procurement integration so we don't have to swivel chair anymore. Hey, let's, let's make sure we get an Ariba integration going and then we automatically send the PO over to Ariba and then comes back, right? simplify and automate our processes so we're at this phase so again remember you can start you know specific um crawl activities so then i was saying in the, in, earlier in the presentation right we could start our get this this piece of the SAS done right which is kind of create and import all of our entitlements for SAS. uh whoops and then as part of our walk phase we might already want to get ahead and do those where is it? SAS direct integrations, right? So we, we go ahead and complete that. So we've completed the crawl, we've completed the walk, and now we're in this run phase where we're, we're taking a look at that overlapping software, right? So again, you can have, they don't all have to be complete before you move to the next phase. You may have pieces of them from crawl, walk, run, and kind of show you where you are in your overall maturity journey and how does that line up with our business objectives uh, and our SAM program where we want to be. All right, so that concludes the SAM maturity. So in this video, we discussed uh, the SAM maturity assessment and we reviewed through those three phases, the crawl, walk and run phase. And then I went into an instance and kind of showed those maturity items and related one to a success goal and kind of talked about how you can progress uh, different maturity items throughout the phases without actually having to actually do each phase. So if you want more information on maturity assessments, you can go to the ServiceNow product documentation website and there's a couple of good, really good articles, uh, maturity stages of your software asset management program, view all the maturity items for software asset management, and then more things like maturity item details. Um, remember, this is part of a video series, so this was part three of five. So make sure you pay you you watch the other videos to learn more about the success portal and how all these different components work together to really mature your SAM program. Thanks for your time.